Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, do a virtual machine installation of Omeka. Uh, this will be something that you can install in either a VMware um, workstation, maybe um, a VMware Fusion or a, a virtual box, which is a free open source uh, virtualization software. You can put that right on your desktop for experimentation purposes, sandbox, just to give you kind of a trial look at the product. Um, Omeka is um, a digital repository software that allows you to put up collections, images, documents, and so on according to uh, library and uh, archive standards. Um, take a look at the Omeka uh, website, omeka.org. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick run through on installing this, um, but you're going to need to come back here to take a look at documentation and so on and learn more about the product. Now I'm going to suggest this uh, installation goes fairly quickly, uh, but um, um, and a lot of typing involved, a lot of uh, um, a lot of code that you need to just punch in. So I'm going to run through that, uh, but I'm going to suggest you grab some documentation that's available for this. Uh, this document, um, and let me uh, highlight the uh, URL here. Uh, this document will actually give you a printed version of all the commands. So I would suggest you grab this printed out and have this handy as we go along through this installation, because uh, it'll help you help you avoid typos and so on like that. All right, so let me show you what I've got set up so far. I've already created another video in which I've showed you how to install Ubuntu uh, server software in a, uh, uh, in a virtual machine using uh, VirtualBox. So take a look at that video because we're going to start from that point. They now have a virtual machine installed. Um, uh, the, uh, it's uh, Ubuntu server version 9.10 all installed and ready to go. Uh, and uh, I've got LAMP, uh, the uh, Linux Apache MySQL PHP, uh, is installed on that as is SSH, um, Secure Shell, uh, so that we can trade items back and forth. So let me start, start by firing up this machine here, uh, and that opens up a new, new uh, terminal window here. Uh, and uh, this is a, a text-based uh, server environment, so we're going to just be typing in some commands here for most of this. Um, and as soon as this boots up, I'll talk a little bit about this virtual machine and how it's configured. And this does just take a second. Alrighty, we're going to log in. And I chose very simple usernames and passwords for this. I suggest you do the same if this is just a kind of a sandbox for you. Okay, the first thing I'm going to run is an if config command. You'll notice that I've actually configured this with uh, uh, a fixed IP address, that's that uh, 192.168.1.3. Uh, you want to pay attention to that because you're going to need that address later. You might either have configured a fixed IP, you might be getting an uh, um, IP address from DHCP on the local network. Uh, check out the video that um, um, I created to help you set this up and it'll explain a little bit more and the document also has some more uh, conversation in there. But one thing you'll notice right off the bat is that um, uh, this is server software, the LAMP system that Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP comes with a web server. Web server is now up and running, so what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, Omeka on the server and we're going to access Omeka um, using a browser on the host system. Now, uh, the way you get into this box is to just click in it and then to get out of it you have to press your right control key and that gives you your mouse back. Uh, so keep that in mind as you work back and forth. So if I bring up Firefox here, uh, just uh, uh, for example, and I go to that IP address, 168.1.3 is the one that I set up, um, and you can see that um, um, the, the web page uh, web server in this uh, at this IP address in this thing is running. So you want to just check and make sure you have connectivity there. Um, because uh, otherwise if you don't, um, uh, when we get done with all the typing commands, uh, you're going to be um, kind of wondering what's going on. So uh, run that little test, make sure that uh, the server's actually running and working. And now we're going to get started. So again, remember call, we click on the box to capture the keyboard. Uh, if we need to, we press the right control key, that releases it again, and we'll get started. A couple of things you need to install first. Uh, one is unzip, so we're going to go um, And again, all these commands are actually uh, listed in that document I told you about. And we use the sudo command because um, in Ubuntu the um, uh, root user is, is um, disabled by default. 
um, so we get this uh, unzip command uh, uh, installed and then the other one we need to install as soon as this is done is image magic um, so sudo app install image magic uh, this is going to actually take a while, so I'm just going to sit here um, and pause the recording while that installs, and I will come back as soon as uh, as soon as that's done. All right, we're finished with that. That actually took uh, several minutes. That's about the longest part of this installation time-wise. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get the Omeka installation package. Uh, we want to make sure we're on our home directory, so we just do a CD, and yes, we are PWD print working directory. Uh, and we see that we're in our, our own directory, so that's where we want to be. Uh, and now we just go ahead and get the uh, uh, Omeka package. Uh, we get it thusly. Um, that's wget http slash slash omeka dot org slash file slash omeka dash one dot one dot zip. Uh, if they have a newer version out when you run this, um, uh, just substitute the newer version for that one dot one. Uh, it's going to grab that package. It takes a few minutes to download. I will uh, pause the installation. Our installation or our download is completed. Now we need to unzip that package. So we just simply do unzip. Just unzip the package that we just downloaded. And now we need to move this to our, our default web server. Our default web server directory on a standard Ubuntu installation is slash var slash www. Uh, so I'm simply going to move the files that I just downloaded over to that directory. And we do that with the following commands. And we need to use sudo because we don't yet have permissions in the uh, web directory. We're going to take care of that in a little while. So sudo mv. Okay, so we're just moving the um, all of the Omeka 1.1 files that we just unzipped over to the uh, web directory. That's all we're doing here. Um, now there's one file that doesn't drag across by default because it's a hidden file, so we have to treat that one separately. That's the uh, .ht access file, uh, and we just need to use a separate command for that because it's hidden. Uh, it doesn't go along with that first one. Okay, so our files are in the right place. Um, now. Um, uh, Omeka uses PHP, so uh, we're going to remove the default um, index.html file that's in that directory, because uh, we're going to replace that with an index.php page. And so uh, we use the sudo command rm remove, and then we remove the uh, in default index.html file. Alrighty, so that pretty much gets us set up. Now we have to configure the web space uh, user and a database. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is clear the screen, uh, and I'm going to type in, I'm going to pause the recording, type in some commands in advance, and then I'll come back and show them to you just so you don't have to watch me do so much typing. Okay, so I've now executed these commands, and I'd like to explain a little bit about what I'm doing because there are a number of ways you can get at this. Uh, but really what we need to do is we need to give our uh, users some privileges in the um, uh, web directory so that uh, the user can um, uh, manage the files there. There are a lot of different ways you can do this. This is the way I like to do it for purposes of our, our exercise here. The first thing we do is we use the group add command to create a new group called web dev. Uh, we added the user1 to that web dev group, um, and then we um, changed the ownership of that directory, um, the, root, the web directory, um, to uh, uh, the group ownership to web dev. And what that means is that anybody that belongs to the web dev group uh, is now going to be able to uh, uh, manage the files in the web directory. All right, the second thing we need to do is we need to set up some permissions here. So again, I'm going to clear the screen. And I will pause the recording, uh, get those staged for you, and then we'll go over them.